If you've been following the Build the Arduino Granular Synth videos, hopefully by now you have built your own version of the circuit and have been playing with it for a while. The great thing about this circuit is its simplicity and the minimal extra parts you need to build it. To keep this circuit as simple as possible, you may have noticed that the audio output is taken directly from a digital pin on the Atmega chip. This pin outputs a signal at a 5 volt level. 5 volts is quite a bit higher than the standard line level of around 1 volt that is used by most audio equipment. According to the Arduino website, most amplifiers don't seem to mind the higher output, but I still thought it would be a good idea to bring the signal down to a more normal level. We can do this by adding a small filter circuit to the output consisting of three components. First, we have a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. You want to find one with a smaller case to make it easier to fit on the board. Next, we have a 2.2K ohm resistor. Finally, we have a 33 nanofarad film type capacitor. This capacitor has a real effect on the sound of the synth. You could use a value from 30 nanofarads up to about 100 nanofarads. When you increase the value of this component, the output signal will be reduced, but a higher value will also filter out more high frequencies from the sound. I found 33 nanofarads to be a good compromise between signal level and sound quality. When I went with a higher value, I found some of the personality of the synth was lost. Here's a schematic of the circuit we'll be building. Visit the link below to download a copy. Okay, so let's get started. If you've already finished the Arduino, the first step is to open it up and remove the circuit board. We're going to install the components using these three empty rows just to the left of the microprocessor chip. First, we'll install the 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Electrolytic capacitors are polarized and have a positive and negative side. The negative side of the capacitor is usually marked with a white stripe or a minus sign. We're going to install the capacitor in these two holes. The negative side of the capacitor will be on the left. Now flip the board over and solder the part in place. Next, take some side cutters and cut off the excess leads. Now we'll install the 2.2K resistor. We're gonna install this part in an upright position, so take one of the leads and bend it right over. The resistor will be installed using these two holes. Now flip the board over, solder the part, and cut the leads. Next, we'll install the 33 nanofarad capacitor. This part will be installed between this hole and the ground rail of the board. This type of capacitor is not polarized, so you can install it in either direction. Once again, flip the board over and solder it in place. Next, we'll unsolder the wire connecting pin 5 on the Atmega chip to the audio jack. We'll re-solder the wire in this location. Finally, cut and strip a small piece of wire and connect it between pin 5 on the Atmega chip and this hole on the board. Now flip the board over and solder the wire in place. You can now reassemble the synth and try it out. It should sound as good as it did before, but now has a proper line level output. Visit notesandvolts.com for more projects and tutorials, and until next time, go make some noise.